before beginning my session, I have a question to the audience. Do you have a, how many people are familiar to BTX and BTX standards? Maybe you want, okay. Okay, at this talk, I wanna introduce my open source BTX related software. And I mean, I want to introduce myself, and I'm working more than 10 years working telecommunication industry and also working automotive side. So very long time to work with this kind of communication technology. And so the way it is is a startup company at South Korea. So we are mainly developing VTX hardware and software and some kind of a testing tool also. Let's start. First of all, I want to briefly introduce VTX technology. VTX technology introduced more than 10 years ago. Basic concept is very simple. Some vehicle send it own information to other. After that, they response and or some kind of action. That's a basic concept. So no, very similar to IoT technology, just the information sharing technology. But some kind of a reaction makes uh, some good example and application some slow down information and load safety related information. And also now this technology is the, will be using smart city. All devices are connected so vehicle can connect it to infrastructure and cloud whatever. And also this technology is uh, adapting to autonomous driving because uh, current uh, autonomous driver uh, vehicle has uh, so many sensors that they are some limitation because it is a direct sensor. But this radio based sensor can help uh, such kind of uh, information more longer and some behind the uh, the building, information behind the building, such kind of information can help uh, autonomous driving. So fully autonomous driving can maybe will be adapt this kind of technology. Okay, currently so many pilot sites is uh, working and ongoing now, US side, European side and ASEAN also. So, but nowadays it's some problem because some radio technology issue. More than 10 years, DSRC 5.9 gigahertz radio technology is used in this technology, but CVTX or 5G technology will be adapted. So now two te radio technology is, is debating now. Despite of uh, this situation, this kind of uh, radio technology will be increased in their market. So that's a market situation and some information. I want to show first uh, this standard. This is a um, focus on US side. US side uh, is different to European side, but Basically, final message set dictionary is almost the same, but middle layer is a little different. This is minimum set of uh, standard. There are so many standards, but minimum set, some kind of uh, the bottom layer is uh, a pi and mac side. It can be a 
11, it, it is the SRC, and CV Tech and 5G technology will be 3GPP release 14 and 15. So this radio is uh, radio technology and some additional handling technology for DSRC 1609.4. And after that, there are some handling feature to uh, normally this communication use does not use the TCP IP. So it, it can be one option. It can be one option. So it are a little different technology protocol. So mainly mess safety related message will send the WSMP wave short message protocol it shortly WSMP and there are some security mechanism and also and there are some message set to use the application side. So another though we should consider there are some encoding. The 16.0.2 use SN, SN.1 canonical OER format. I'm not sure you are familiar with SN.1, but normally 3GPP and many multimedia technology use this as SN.1. So another thing is uh, this is a message set dictionary. SAJ2735 use uh, a standard word, UPER, we call UPER, but it, it is uh, an aligned the packed encoding rule. It is, grammar is the same, but they encoding or decoding differently. So it are really different. So what's the problem in this situation? First thing is, uh, Protocol is so complicated that, that that's similar to 3GPP or other things, but SN.1 is one of key problem because this new encoding neural, this, this OER and PL is a little new encoding neural, so there are no open source fully support full features of ASN.1, some kind of parameterization, class, such kind of new feature does not support open source. So that's the main key problem of VTX technology for stand open source. But many years, the development is such kind of encoding, decoding, open source, so it's not perfect, but it will close it to commercial product other. So another one is you are not familiar, if maybe, because there are no hardware publicly available. So many IoT devices are available on market, but it's not. The reason they not exist publicly, VTX is focused on vehicle. So automotive industry does not sell to consumer or some engineer. So, it's, so that's the basic reason. So, and this device and module has a longer development time than consumer product because it's vehicle is related to safety. So that's the key problem. You cannot buy this thing, even if sample. Another one is that it, this, this is a bottom layer as a there are no obsess driver because it is the same reason. There are no hardware and there's a own, there are vendors own device driver. It cannot be open. So that's the key. I, in my point, there's a key two problem is the ASM problem and some device and driver problem. So I want to handle these two things many, so many times. So before mention about that, I will 
show some message information and how to handle it. There are so many messages on SAJ2735. Fundamental message, most basic message is basic safety message. It sent to 10 hertz for each second. And other, there are so many messages inside it. And normally, as then done message grammar will be compiled by a standard compiler and it will generate some encoding, encoder and decoder. Well, for example, it's dot C and dot header. And after that, we programming with this encoding, decoding source code. This is a basic function, maybe similar. This is a sample of uh, SN.1 from J2735. You can easily understand that there are some constraints so to check the data format or binary format, similar to 16.0 or 9.2 is almost the same format. Yeah, I briefly show. After that, I tried so many open source compiler SN11. One of the best option for C compiler is SN1C. You can get some link. As I remember, three years ago, it does not support. So I a little hack, try, try, and after that, I succeeded very small portion of uh, this SN.1 format. But nowadays, it will be almost support. There are some warning inside. This is a SN.1 parameterization issue. There are some issue, but it can be handled by programming. So almost working, but we need a hard test, but almost working now. Compile itself. So that's the good time to use this open source compiler. And so another one, some, there are some Python-based uh, compiler. It, it also available, but they working upper, but OER does not support now. So I think this uh, compiler is. Uh, one solution, the, the one solution, only one solution. My company uses normally three different compilers. It, it, the cost is very huge, <laughs> so there are some issues. And this right side is uh, some example code, and this one is uh, OER, and th this is uh, Upper, a very simple. You needed some additional code to check constraints. It, it, this SM1C supports this constraint, but they didn't develop whole things, but almost uh, can be usable. So that's uh, SM1 is uh, handled by open source. Are we talking about hardware will later? But my open source, uh, the basic concept is uh, two things. Uh, I want to develop end-to-end -end seamless connectivity, first, first thing. And another thing is the low retention and high reliability. So I do these things from vehicle BTX device, BI core, SG node to cloud. I want to convert a standard message to some kind of uh, interface definition language. This is, for example, 
bottom side, vehicle side is uh, I use ROS, robot operating system. Maybe you are familiar. It is uh, used by autonomous driving research topic and some OEM vendor also trying now. So SN format will changeable can if it is possible very easily handle bottom side and also there are some idea most people familiar and proper protobuffer by Google and protobuffer is almost similar so we can convert to some different idea so at the bottom side and also this idea can be convert these things so I want to make some code idea code from idea as in that one this, this is a, my concept so easily convert data format bottom to top side back end side another thing is uh, this retention reliability this uh, last version 2 use uh, data dis distribution service and real time publishing and subscriber technology of a TCP IP it is mainly focused on real time traffic. So it is low latency and high reliability. There are so many QoS technology parameters, QoS parameter, DDS has. So it can be possible. And also, vehicle you will use this technology now. So that's a good point. And my device also supports some service access point for standard to use using IDL. So it can be connected to from cloud to even VTX device. And this side is uh, we use, uh, many people use MQTT or AppSocket. So it can be a good data communication channel. So MQTT also have uh, some QS technology. So prep up idea can convert to so many other languages. Node.js, Python, whatever. So many languages. There are more than 20 languages support. So this side uh, focus on C or Python because the ROS2 support Python. So, and this side is uh, as uh, available all language technology. So vehicle device, vehicle, etc., cloud node can easily connectable. This is my goal and concept. So I developed vehicle device and uh, pretext device and vehicle side. First, uh, there are two, mes there are early, so many me poor message type uh, of lost two technology, but mainly I introduced two things, public and publisher and subscriber. Is this is a single path. And another one is request and response. For example, the client request to service some information and they response. This is one problem. So normally receive data can be implemented using publishing subscribing technology. So it's easy. So VTX so device publish some data to 16.09.3. This is almost bottom layer of protocol. So the publishing upper layer, this is secret layer, that two. It, it is uh, one thing. And this one decoding three date, three, three payload to that two payload decoding. And after that, 
is similar, but to decoding after that publishing SA J2735 and RX application can get if they implemented the subscription. So another thing is uh, TX side. TX app should handle whole service. So they, it, they request some encoding to this service, message that service, and some certification service for security, and send it text that are some confirm. So this is the basic concept. And it will be connected to internet. So this is the basic concept. It is uh, Docker one is already implemented and this text is uh, now developing. So another example, this is uh, a Service access point summary, 1609.3. And for example, this is a very fundamental. This is a request for sending and respond. And after they get that some visual indicate and indication means receive one. So this is a very basic for TX and RX. So for example, first, Request and confirm can be replaced to request response message format for lost person second. So for example, this is a, you can get some parameter information from sender. So I made it and a little removal and add something. So this is a top side is a request, bottom side is a response. And publish is simple, just one top button, top side only. This kind of a message I made it. And other thing will be all same, but th so this is example. I made some device emulator to send the dust republish. This is a, some send packet, and they subscribe and and decoding and send it to other nodes and subscribe and send to other nodes. And this is a final result. And maybe it will be similar RX application. And this is a loss topic echo. I use a loss command. This is a, this is a PSM message actually, but data is almost zero because they are I, try to some sample. So they're receiving and they're displaying some information. You can get, you can use uh, this message to, for application. Okay. Now, next thing. How about VTX device? We want to low cost it. I presented this uh, topic 2015. I made it, this device, uh, because this is a single board computer, IMX6 at that time, free scale. And I use uh, this uh, Wi-Fi module. This is uh, now less than $10. So very low cost, uh, and, but this device is a little cost, I remember, around $300, maybe, around that. So, so this Wi-Fi module supports 5.9 5 gigahertz uh, hack. So Linux, there are some Linux patch and modification that exist. And so I adapted this whole thing uh, to this device. Uh, I success TXRX with uh, general VTX device. Normally, country reference 
implementation of VTX device, the cost is around, uh, I remember, minimum $4,000 and more than, and some vendor does not sell such kind of things to a very small company. And today, we use GPTX sell from Qualcomm, but Qualcomm wants some license first. So you cannot easily get some module and some board. So that's a key problem. So this is this is a 3D data, but I designed and developed already. So this is, this is VTX module from Ublox. This is now production. It's not sample. Normally, reference device does not have a production chipset. Normally, they use engineering sample. So we cannot sell to everybody. So it is not possible. So one possible solution is uh, from your blocks. So I adapt and I added some controller. Because normally, they use uh, Linux application process, but I adapt this driver to MCU and make uh, some service access point and it will connect to Ethernet. Uh, this harness is very different. We are now using automotive Ethernet now, so this, not, this is not RJ45, but connected will be changeable. But So we fully designed now, but we are wearing high accuracy GPS. It will be available next, next month. And at that time, just an engineering sample. So we're waiting now. So I hopefully this device has a role similar to this device. The price is similar to this device and a little more, less than with this enclosure, less than. 10,000 I hopefully I want to develop it. So other host side application will be open source. So everybody can handle VTX and VTX related application. Many people, most people cannot, not easy to handle functional basic safety message because it, it depends it send it to from vehicle to vehicle, so it is related to safety. But vehicle to infrastructure and vehicle to cloud will be available. So that's the reason I made it this kind of device. But I waiting. But production, <laughs> I hopefully want to to production this kind of device, but. Very, if it the cost is, will be very small, but at that time cost will be a little higher. So I think that I want to lower that cost. Now trying now, so I will show some pictures and roadmap. End of this uh, month, I upload the first source code of. Uh, Wave some message. This is the uh, RX technology. I uploaded my GI help GitHub, and after that, trying to TX. Currently, I made it by hand. This function, as then that one to lost to idea, but I'm trying now using open source as then one compiler. It will be possible, I think. And after that, another one will be trying. And this device is a target release date is 20 October. So 
So, and another thing is uh, we have uh, some module license uh, for CV text. So, this thing is not product, so production. So, engineering sample will be available maybe end of October, I think. And we will try other chipset vendor next year. Currently, we have uh, some two more vendors, uh, two more vendors and three chipset already, three modules, some Japanese company, Korean company. So, so, but next year, we will adapt test device also, so for engineering and testing too. And another, uh, uh, this thing is um, will be support release this device, device connectivity and management chip and basic security. Uh, actually, Rate is developing, de driving the testing tool also. I, we have uh, some product. So adapt this kind of uh, testing tool also. This is roadmap. So this is a GITAB URL. I just put some related compiler as then one compiler I upload it and I upload all things at time frame and this is a another domain but I have a, some domain this kind of things if you have any question or some needs um, some feature, please send it to this email. And actually, this project is uh, my personal project. This uh, software side is uh, developed by me and uh, another guy free time. In my company, we develop just hardware and ins hardware inside the Palmyra and software. So we separate it. So this is a uh, final information. Okay. Thanks for listening. Do you have any questions?